Koroni or Koron Greek, Koron is a town and a former municipality in Messenia, Peloponnese, Greece. Since the 2011 local government reform it is part of the municipality Pylos Nestoras, of which it is a municipal unit. Known as Koron by the Venetians and Ottomans, the town of Koroni pop. 1,397 in 2011 sits on the southwest peninsula of the Peloponnese on the Gulf of Messenia in southern Greece, 56 kilometers 35 miles by road southwest of Kalamata. The town is nestled on a hill below a Venetian castle and reaches to the edge of the gulf. The town was the seat of the former municipality of Koroni, which has a land area of 105 square kilometers, 41 square miles, and a population of 4366 2011 census. The municipal unit consists of the communities Akritikori, Karakopio, Chrysokelaria, Philanthi, Kaplani, Kompoi, Koroni, Vasilitsi, Vunaria and Yamea. It also includes the uninhabited island of Venetico. Topic: History. The town was founded in ancient times. The second-century Greek geographer Pausanias, in his book Messeniaca, reports the original location of Koroni at modern Petalidi, a town a few kilometers north of Koroni. He also reports many temples of Greek gods and a copper statue of Zeus. In the centuries that followed the town of Koroni moved to its current location, where the ancient town of Asini had once stood. In the 6th and 7th centuries AD, the Byzantines built a fortress there. The town appears for the first time as a bishopric in the Notitiae Episcopatum of the Byzantine Emperor Leo VI the Wise, in which it appears as a suffragan of the See of Patras. Surviving seals give the names of some of its Greek bishops. The Greek eparchy was suppressed in the 19th century as part of an ecclesiastical reorganization after Greece gained its independence. Venetian period Following the fall of Constantinople to the Fourth Crusade in 1204, the Partitio Romania assigned most of the Peloponnese to the Republic of Venice, but the Venetians moved slowly to claim it, and the peninsula swiftly passed to the Frankish Crusaders under William of Champlet, who established the Principality of Achaia. The fortress of Caroni was initially given to Champlit's chief lieutenant, Geoffrey of Vilhardwin. It was not until 1206 or 1207, that a Venetian fleet under Premarini and the son of Doge Enrico Dandolo took the Messenian peninsula and Caroni with its neighbouring Methoni from Champlit's men. Venetian possession of the two fortresses was recognized by Geoffrey of Vilhardwin, by now Prince of Achaia, in the Treaty of Sapienza in June 1209. The Venetian period lasted for three centuries, during which time Caroni and Methoni, or Koron and Modon the first Venetian possessions on the Greek mainland became, in the words of a Venetian document, the receptacle and special nest of all our galleys, ships, and vessels on their way to the Levant, and by virtue of their position controlling the Levantine trade were known as the chief eyes of the Republic. The town flourished as an waystation of merchants and pilgrims to the Holy Land. Caroni in particular was famous for its cochineal, from which crimson dyes were made, and for the Venetian engineer's expertise in siege engines, which was much in demand by the princes of Frankish Greece in their wars. Of the two, Caroni was the more important, when the two captains of the fortresses were increased to three towards the end of the 13th century, the two resided in Caroni, and in emergencies a Bailo resided there as an extraordinary consul. During this period Caroni became the seat of bishops of the Latin Church. As the Catholics imitated the pre-existing Byzantine ecclesiastical structure, the Latin bishop of Caroni remained a suffragan of the Latin archbishop of Patras. One of its bishops, Angelo Corer, later became Pope Gregory XII. 
No longer a residential Catholic bishopric, Corona is today listed by the Catholic Church as a titular see. In the mid 14th century, the two Venetian colonies suffered greatly from the Black Death, so that it was necessary to send a fresh batch of colonists from home, and the franchise was extended to all the inhabitants, except the Jews. The two fortresses began to be governed by a series of minutely detailed statutes and capitulations issued by the metropolitan government, containing such clauses as a regulation that forbade the Venetian garrison to wear beards, so as to distinguish them from the local Greeks. Unlike other Latin rulers in Greece, the Venetians allowed the Greek Orthodox bishops to reside in their sees alongside their Catholic counterparts, but in the latter half of the 14th century, there are reports of mistreatment of the Greek population, which fled from Venetian territory to the Franks of Achaia. In the early 15th century, as the Principality of Achaia gradually collapsed, the Venetians expanded their territory in Messenia. Navarino was taken over in 1417, and by 1939 had constructed or taken over six further castles between Navarino and Methoni and Caroni to secure her extended possession. The first seaborne Ottoman attack on Caroni took place in 1428, and after the Ottoman conquest of the Despotate of the Morea in 1460, the Venetian domains shared a border with Ottoman territory. This led a group of the town's Arvanitica speaking residents to seek refuge in Sicily, where they founded the town of Piana degli Albanesi, which was known as Piana dei Greci until 1945. Caroni fell to the Ottomans in 1500. During the Second Ottoman Venetian War, 1499 Sultan Bayezid II stormed Methoni, after which Caroni and Navarino surrendered 15 or the 17th of August 1500. Topic: <laughs> Ottoman and Modern Period. The town was retaken by Admiral Andrea Doria in 1532, but in the spring of 1533 the Ottomans laid siege to it. Doria was able to relieve the town, prompting Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent to call upon the services of the Corsair captain Herodine Barbarossa. Barbarossa was aided by the outbreak of plague among the garrison and a particularly harsh winter, and in 1534 the Spanish garrison surrendered the fortress and sailed for Italy. In the first half of the 16th century, Caroni was initially a casa within the sub-province of Methoni and the seat of Akadi. The fortress itself and the surrounding territory were an imperial fief its annual revenue was 162,081 axes, which, according to Theodore Spandunes, were granted along with the revenue of Methoni to Mecca. In 1582, the fortress was part of the Sanjak of Mazist, and reportedly contained 300 Christian and 10 Jewish households, while the Muslim population was limited to the officials and a 300-strong garrison, which apparently remained constant over the entire Ottoman period. According to the 17th century traveller Evlia Celebi, Caroni was the seat of a separate Sanjak, within either the Morea Islet or the Islet of the Archipelago. The 17th century French traveller Jean-Baptiste Tavernier reports that its bay governor had to provide a galley for the Ottoman navy. Later it was part of the Sanjak of the Morea, and is once more attested as a separate Sanjak by François Pouqueville in the late 18th century. In the Marine War, Caroni was the first place the Venetians targeted during their conquest of the Peloponnese, capturing it after a siege the 25th of June to the 7th of August 1685. It remained in Venetian hands as part of the Kingdom of the Morea until the entire peninsula was recaptured by the Ottomans in 1715, during the Seventh Ottoman-Venetian War. During the 18th century, the town declined, its harbour was reported as blocked and ruinous already at the turn of the previous century, but it continued to export silk and olive oil, until the 1770s, four French merchant houses were active there. By 1805, the English traveller William Martin Leake reported that trade had stopped, that the port offered only insecure anchorage, 
and that the Janissary garrison abused the local population. Koroni became part of the modern Greek state in 1828, when it was liberated by the French general Nicolas Joseph Maison. Topic: Rocket launch site. Between 1966 and 1989 a facility for launching sounding rockets was established near the town. The first launches were performed from Koroni on May 20, 1966 for investigation and annular solar eclipse. These rockets reached an altitude of 114 km. From 1972 to 1989 several Russian meteorological rockets of M100 type were launched. They reached altitudes up to 95 km. In total 371 rockets were launched. <laughs> Notes